What's up, YouTube? It's your boys here, Shell Smash Shuckle, and today on Smash Time, I will be talking about, about poking. I'll be talking about the pros and cons, and whether or not I think you should buy it or not. So basically, my final thoughts upon it. Now, as I said, my final thoughts. You may not agree with me, and it's okay. But just make sure you leave your comment and everything in the description below, and then you know we can talk about it. Let's start things off with the negative. Personally, the thing that pissed me off the most about poking was the second player controls. If you don't have a pro controller you, and you try to play with the nunchuck, we won't re remote in the nunchuck, it does not work at all. Zero. Like, if you try to play, if you play a traditional fighting game and you try to play poking with this, it does not work. You have to go get a pro controller. So, if you don't have it, you might as well go ahead and pick one up. Even rather, it doesn't have to be an expensive one. Expensive one, but trust me, you're gonna save whoever's player two a lot of headache, frustration, because it's not even on the same level of controls at all. Oh my goodness, it is horrible. But that's just my opinion. All right, the second thing I don't, I didn't care for much about poking was the main, the graphics on the second on the main TV like when you play two players it does not look good at all like the pictures this stuff look good but once you start playing and you just notice you notice the frame drop first of all and then second of all like the winning poses for some people you see like the pixels are really shiny or something like that or it's just really it's really distracting like Mega Blaziken when he wins in he has like obviously he has the little fire hands and you know cufflinks and stuff like that. And I looked at my computer, my TV. I was like, "What the hell is this?" Like I didn't understand why it looked so. I want to say rocky, but not that. I can't even think of a really good definition for it. It's bad. Just uh. And then I looked at it on the gamepad because apparently when you play um. It's not split screen, so when you play Pokemon, the first player looks down at his uh, at the Wii at the Wii pad, and second player looks at the TV. So the first player can't look at the um, TV at all because it will mess him up. His controllers are inverted compared to what he sees. So unless he get used to playing inverted, he can't look at the main, the big screen. Not that there's anything better to look at, anyways. He's might as well look at his freaking gamepad because it looks like two times better. I don't understand it. And uh, the third thing I didn't like about Pokemon, mainly it was nothing really to do after you beat the story. I mean, even the story wasn't like amazing. You just do a bunch of matches and you fight Mega, you fight the Dark Mewtwo and. You know that's that's really it. You don't you don't do much else. And the, also another problem I didn't like about it, you don't really have shit to do much with the money, but buy um like customizations for your characters. Like I thought the money was gonna be able to do something more, something else. Maybe use that to buy stages or something like that. But really, the money is just for that. The customization stuff and have you get a bunch of money, but at the same time. The stuff on there is like overly priced, so I guess it balances out. But honestly, once I create my character's hair and stuff like that, I don't I don't really want to go back and change it. It's like once I make it the first time, I doubt I'm gonna go back and change it because I'm more worried about my skills. I don't know. Maybe I'm just nitpicking. But those are my main disappointments in Pokemon. I just expected it to be a little bit more, the graphics to be a little bit better, and the second player control to be at least manageable, which they are if you have a pro controller. But for those who didn't, which I didn't, I had to go buy one, it may be a little bit of a problem. Now let's talk about the pros. I really like the gameplay. Like, Although the phase shifts is a little distracting every time you do a big hit or a big combo or even small hits in repetitive form where you get a phase shift, even though you have to deal with that, I think it's it's good because it's not it's not like every other traditional game. It's trying to be its own thing, which I I respect. Um, I'm not really a big fighter uh, fighter like I don't play a lot of fighting games, but I do like them for the most part. 
Um, I can't sit there and be like the best there ever was on a fighting game. I just can't because that takes practice. It takes time to memorize everybody's move set, memorize the hitbox for it, everything like that. I don't have time for that, and a lot of people don't. But I think Pokemon is a game that you can pick up and really get used to playing. Um, it has a kind of rock paper scissor type uh, move set system. I want to say. Like, there's a weak attack, a strong attack, and a Pokemon move. The weak attack beats the Pokemon move. The Pokemon move beats the strong attack, and the strong attack beats the weak attack. So it's in a it's in a circle of, uh, I guess, tranquility. I don't know. But it's, it's balanced in that way. Uh, some Pokemon are overpowered, and a lot of people spam. But it's a fighting game, so, of course, people are going to spam. Um... I do have to say the online matches happen crisp, it's really quick. And although I have had some lag, it's mainly because of the other person and not the not the the network itself. So that's another thing it really did pretty well. Um customization was pretty good, but I just felt like after I make my character, I won't really care what he looks like afterwards. Maybe I'll put a little fire behind him, but we'll we'll be. I mean that's that's not gonna change my gameplay, you know what I'm saying? Um Uh I didn't mention this, but another thing I just didn't like really was the amount of characters. Now the variety of characters was really good. Uh they had close range fighters, they had mid range fighters, they had far and close range fighters. Like everybody, even though a lot of people had like a bunch of almost everybody has a distance attack. So that's something I really like. Not every not everybody was just strictly like close range. Everybody has some type of distant attack because a lot of people who were main distance, like most of their moves are like distant attacks, they could still fight them without having to be just grounded or stumped, like without any way to get close or whatever. Because honestly, some people are broken depending on the matchups. Like if you don't have somebody who can get close really fast and you're fighting a long range person you may have a, a, a tough time getting over there but that's with any fighting game like people spam stuff so obviously but overall I think I give the game a 6 out of 10 I mean it's okay personally I wait till the price drop down before getting it um, I got it on sale from Amazon, so I kind of did get it when the price dropped down. It was about 47 bucks if you pre-ordered before that. And by the way, if you uh, don't have an Amazon account, or I think, I'm not sure if you have to be Prime or not. I saw it, and I don't have the correct information, but I know Amazon, when you pre-order games, you get like 10% off. So my $60 game cost me around $47, which, if you think about it, Pumpkin probably won't go down for at least another year, minimum. So, may not even go down before that because it's a Nintendo game. We all know Nintendo games never really drop down the price. It takes years for it to drop down the price. I still see Pokemon um, Revolution for like 40, 50 bucks. You know how long Pokemon Revolution has been out? Not too long. And it's still 40, 50 bucks. So, you see my point. So that's pretty much all my thoughts on Pokemon. Have you guys? If you like, if you like, or if you like, if you agree with me, go ahead and hit the like button and the down. If you agree with me, go ahead and hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Let me know why you agree with me or disagree with me in the description below. I mean, in the comment section below. Have yourselves a good day. Your boy Shell Smash Shuckle out.